Now this story, Rabbi El Taz, I want to show you a picture of him. Where I put it? My pictures, the Khair. Uh, no. I emailed it to myself. I emailed it to myself. Rabshel Dov Zislin. He was a great Rav. He immigrated to Etchisol in the, the 20s and went in the early years. He was the became leader Mashpi of Chabad and one of the Rabboni Chabad and how one of the big Rabbonim in Etchisol lived in, in Tel Aviv for a while. He was a murder dicker at London. Okay. Yeah, that's him. So you're passing on to show the people. So the see a picture. It's nice to see a picture we're talking about. Uh, this is him. Passed away in the in the sixties. Uh, just reading his biography, I was astonished to read that. I mean, that's what they write. I'm sure it's true. In his brief biography in the Chabadpedia, that he suggested to the Fidi Kerebe that Chabad Nigunim be recorded with musical notes. Recorded. With it. And that, that's how Nechoyach started, began. That was a big revolution. Musical notes. This is like, you know, you're going into the secular world. And, and records. Chabad was the first record. The first record, you no, know, all Sidim did it, but at the time it raised the eyebrows. Everybody does it now. It came Werdiger, how, huh? how about how about Werdiger? I think way before Werdiger. The first Siddish in the good way Ger came well, all all Majits all came later. The first one, and everybody had it in those days. And secretly, Williamsburg and Borough Park was on this was the music on the record, it was the first records of Chabad. It's really now two generations ago. So that's one thing he suggested. So maybe they could think. And then they just shows you what a chassid he was. And he also suggested that they write the feed the Kedab, but this is in the in the 30s, that they should establish in Achisra, a center a village for Chabad. And so he gave the idea of Chabad, which for the Rebbe was, and the Fidika Rebbe, this is the place, the heartbeat from where, you know, we'll bring Chassidus to Achisra. So here's a story with him. Jabiel relates. So once his Rabbi Shoyal Bezislim, he relates himself like this. It once happened that he was going into a cheder, the Chabad cheder in Tel Aviv. That's where it first was. He needed something. Punkt and happened. He's walking. When he comes to the cheder, the teacher was testing the Talmidim on what they learned. So the teacher tells Rab Shol Ber afterwards what happened at the test. He asked one of the one of the, the children, "What does Rashi say on this pasuk?" So the child answered properly and explained what Rashi says. And then the teacher asked the child, "And where does Rashi get his pirish from? What's the?" What's the, the source in the Pasuk, it seems? Where in the everything's Pratish Bikra. So what's the source in the Pasuk that that indicates that this is the Pshat? This is after this this is this is Pratish Bikra. The child forgot what and what the question of Rashi is. What's the question in the Pasuk that this answers? He forgot what his teacher said, and he said, Rashi Adruha Kaidash. This is what the Pasuk means. So then the teacher is telling the story to the Rabbi Shail. But he asked another child, what's the market? And the child remembered what the teacher said and said, this is the market, this is the discussion, this wording in the Pasuk, that's the, the market. So the teacher then told him, Rabbi Shail, why did the first child answer the Pashtas that the market of Rashi is Ruch HaKadosh? She knows that's what the Pasuk means. Because the teacher, I, oh, it seems like the one who tested the kids is not the teacher. Someone came here to test them. So the teacher is singing the praise of the, the tester is singing the praises of the teacher. He tells them, Shal, Shal, it's obvious, he said, that the teacher 
that he had explained to the children uh, what what Rashi's proof is, and the Rai is that the second child did answer well. But the tester, the Boichen, went on to observe, sharing with Rabbi Sheilbe, he the first child forgot. But since he got the Chidduch in the classroom from the teacher was, in addition to all of the explanations, the Malambed planted in the children, this the Kedusha, that every word of Rashi is Ruch HaKodesh, therefore, when I, the tester, asked him a question, he didn't remember the answer. I didn't remember the answer. But the, the etzim is, the drashi is Ruch HaKodesh. I'm sure we're learning here. This is, this is, this is Aviseinu, Chachman Bin, the etzim on the show. And the tester concluded that in Setreb Shalom Ber, thus is Achsadeh Shemalam. That's Achsadeh teacher, that the foundation, it's Kedusha, it's Torah, the drashi said it with Ruch HaKodesh. The Biel concludes and says, so that which, and in this case, the child was implanted in Bepinimius, you don't have to instruct him, now say it, now do it. It spontaneously comes out. Where does actually get it from? At the end of the day, where? Because that's his natural response. All right, you get Yontif, you be